Right, so hello everybody and welcome to another video. Um, something I've had to work out. Um, we have had a recent update, 4.89, and um, it has caused all manner of problems for people running customized firmware. So um, there are tutorials online and um, what they ask you to do is to cop copy a text file and go into webman and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment I just want to run through what basically happens so you copy the text file you go into webman um, and then you copy over the text file in webman literally under HDD0 and right at the bottom um, but the problem is when you do that um, after you've pressed triangle and right to by the way to disable um, a lot of people are getting invalid password. So I signed into PSN on my mobile and the password is valid. <laughs> so it doesn't work, or does it? Um, so a lot of messing around and I found that you actually need to generate or manage device setup passwords and use this password that it generates for you to sign in to your PSN. Now some people it's working without doing this. Um, it didn't work for me and there's a lot of people online that it hasn't worked for. Now as you can see I'm on PKGI and I'm downloading The Last of Us. If you look closely at the top right corner you can see we're on 4.88 um, and you can't download this unless you're on, well unless you're signed into PSN basically. So, I'm just going to come out of this for a moment. I'm just going to quit this. And then if we go over to, you can see that I'm actually logged in. It's asking for account management and all the other bits that you get once you're actually signed in. So basically what we do is we put in, we take our USB stick and there's a text file, which I will put a link to um, in the description. Oh, I can't do any of that currently until I do a reboot. So let's just do that. Because custom firmware is disabled, this is this is you have to disable custom firmware to be signed in. So let's do a hard reboot. Okay, so currently it's asking us to sign in and we can't, PlayStation Network disabled. Um, that's because I have signed in previously. What you might get is what I got before, which is invalid password when signing in. So basically the steps are you go into Multiman you put on your FAT32 drive the text file ok then you go into file manager go into PS3 root go into HDD you can then scroll to the bottom and you will just open up another window go to your USB and then I just like to go by size. And there you can see that I've just highlighted PS3 update list. You then just simply copy this. And you can actually, once you've copied it, you then just paste it into there. So you just press paste. Okay. Don't need to do that, it's already there. Then get yourself back to the XMB. Go 
can turn off the system. Then turn your system back on. Now, it's at this point you need to press triangle and right two, and it will say history files and CFW deleted. Then you can sign in, and it's at this point that when you sign in, you might get invalid. Well, you won't get this page, you'll get the blue page, and then you put all your details in, and it will say invalid password. We're just going to sign in for the moment to show you that it does work. But this is what I had to do. So I got the message invalid password. So what you need to do is this. You need to sign into PSN using your mobile phone. Go to the settings, which is the top right icon. And go into account info. Go to the top left icon. It's three um, horizontal lines. Okay, then select security. This says we're going to take you to another page. You press confirm to accept that. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and select generate or manage device setup passwords. And when you press on that, it will then give you a password that you will then need to set up, put, put into this. And so you don't put in your normal password, you put the one that it's generated. Once you've put the one that it's generated in, make sure you tick that it auto saves it because if you don't tick that you're going to have to do that every time once you've auto saved it you can then use that password to sign in once you're signed in or once it's accepted it you will then need to press the triangle and right two combination to then sign into your into your into your account like you've just seen me do Once you've done that, um, we had somebody on PSX Place who was wanting to download The Last of Us. I'm just going to show you that that works. So it should just continue, hopefully, where I left off. And there you can see it. It's not asking to be signed into PSN because it is signed into PSN. And uh, my internet's particularly slow, so if I really wanted to download a backup copy of my um, The Last of Us, then yeah, it's going to take me a good seven hours. But I think anybody on a reasonable speed, you're looking at probably about an hour. Um, so yeah, there are um, backups on PKGI that do require um, links. Um, download links that need you to be signed into your PSN account. Now if you wanted to go online with a game before you do the combination of right to and triangle what you will need to do is mount the game first because you can't mount the game once you've disabled your firmware. Um, so yeah, <laughs> don't, don't, make sure you do it in the correct order. But for the sake of this you can see that there was no need to do that. We can just, yeah, it's absolutely fine. We can just press triangle right two and then go back to the downloader. So, um, I don't know if we can see this. I've written it down so you can pause. So let's just put that there. So those are the instructions. All right. So this is where you're getting to the point where basically you then put in your details in the blue screen and then, it will, uh, and then it says invalid password. You need to follow these steps. Let's just show you one more time. So you just need to pause the video at this point so you can read the steps that I've explained. And then basically from there, you can sign in, but only after the combination. You will get that screen that says um, it's been, you know, you're unable to do it. Um, two things to note here. You need to be on the latest webman if you're not, you can download it. You can also update Webman 
from Webman itself. Let me just show you that. So I did notice when it updated that the menu system was a little different. So for example, when I go into Webman Games, it only has these that are actually that I have worked before it had folders with zero in it. Now it only shows the shows the folders if there's something in there. Um, Webman setup. And then we've got PS3 Webman setup. But we don't need to go into that. So we'll just come out of that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, once you're in this launch, so you're basically going to um, Webman Games, Webman Setup, and then down here, you'll see at the bottom, Update Webman Mod. Once you've done this, it will do everything for you, but then you need to then go and do a restart of your computer, of your of your PS3. Once you've restarted your PS3, once you go into your Webman, and I'll show you that now. Cause I'll did that prematurely before you'll see the build in the top left webman man 1.47.41 which is the latest one um i wasn't running the latest one and if you're not then it this just refuses to work it doesn't work at all right so latest webman mod um you'll need multi-man to take the text file over and uh yeah once you've done all of that you're good to go you can download the text file, put it on the um, FAT32, and uh, just put it in HDD0 at the bottom, um, and then follow the steps. And uh, yeah, you can then use the Last of Us downloader, or what, uh, provided you've mounted a game, you can then go into that mounted game and um, go online um, because you are now logged into PSN. Now, they're, they're, I'm sure Evil Nat will come up with a um, with an update soon, but in in the meantime, this is a sort of band aid that will get you through these little mishaps until we have the new custom firmware. Right, that's everything. Thanks for watching, and um, enjoy. Take care. Bye bye.